I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about pregnancy and delivery in dogs. This is a really comprehensive subject, so obviously I can't cover it all just in this one little vignette here, but certainly if you have other specific things you want addressed, we can look at that doing, doing that in the future. So everybody loves the miracle of birth. It's great. Everybody likes to see either humans or puppies or cats or horses being born. And I've heard many times in the exam room that, hey doc, we just want to breed them one time so the kids can see the puppies be born. And I would encourage you to find other ways to see puppies or kittens be born instead of breeding animals that maybe shouldn't be bred. So think about that. And you can also look at some of the videos that, uh, that have been attached here like Muffy's puppies and all the other dogs that have shown birth here and realize that none of those animals were bred just to be videoed. They were bred because either it was accidental and a stray, that type of thing, and a shelter dog, or because they were purebred dogs and they were meant to be bred because they were good dogs. So anyway, uh, responsible breeding, very important. And usually only purebred dogs that have gone through a number of checkups for their health should be bred. Uh, dog gestation period is about 63 days plus or minus five days is kind of the rule of thumb. I'm not going to talk much about cats, but just so you know, their gestation period is about the same. It's about 65 days, plus or minus five. When I refer to gestation period, that means from the time that they have conceived until they birth the puppies or kittens. Litter size can be hugely variable. Anything from a singleton puppy, which would be one, up to some of these larger breeds can have like 13 puppies. So I would say the average is more like three to seven puppies, you know, given the, depending on the size of the dog and the breed. So how can you tell if a dog is pregnant? Well, first of all, you may have witnessed the breeding and hopefully if you're breeding responsibly, you did witness it and you know what days the dogs were bred. So in those cases, you can feel pretty secure that you've got an animal that's been bred. If you don't know or you know, you're just not sure, uh, there's a couple of ways that veterinarians can help you determine that. There is a hormonal test, and I actually haven't done that one very often, but there is a pregnancy test for dogs, and I believe they have to be around 30 days uh, for that one. I don't know how commonly it's used unless you go to a reproductive doctor. Um, probably the most common thing that I've done over the last 20 years would be on about day 21 to 30, if a dog is presented to the clinic, I can sometimes palpate the puppies in the uterus. And this is kind of an obviously a time-honored uh, technique that isn't always successful and does have some dependency on the veterinarian and their skill at palpating. But that is something you can consider doing. Ultrasound is a great way to look for puppies. Again, they probably need to be about 21 days pregnant to feel good about uh, what you're seeing on ultrasound. However, that's a great tool because you can see how many puppies and how large they are. So that's a good way to do it. We can also x-ray dogs to see if they're pregnant. And they usually have to be at least 45 days so that we can see some skeletal structures of the puppies. Before that time, the bone isn't calcified and so you can't really see the puppies. But that can also be valuable in trying to determine how many puppies are present and how large they are. Um, so basically there's a lot, a lot of number of different things you can do to determine if they're pregnant. Uh, probably the most common thing though is for you just to know that they got bred and kind of count the days and know that they probably got pregnant because dogs are pretty fertile. So how do you prepare? Uh, you want to provide a clean, dry, warm place for them to be able to deliver, uh, preferably with some kind of a nesting box or a whelping box. Dogs do like to nest in, in blankets and you know deeply into a bedding to be able to do their delivery. Um, it's a good idea to increase the foods that they're eating by about 25% during pregnancy, and it may even have to be higher during the lactation period. Uh, th one thing you can do to help determine the date, uh, when it gets within about two weeks, you can monitor the body temperature of your pet just by using a rectal thermometer. And that normal temperature should be around 100 to 102 degrees, could be as low as maybe 99. But right before whelping, usually within 24 hours of whelping, that temperature will drop to about 96, 97 degrees. And so that can be a good indicator that the birth is impending. So how do you know if you need to involve a veterinarian in the birth of puppies? The most deliveries are uneventful, so that's the good news. Usually vets don't have to get involved, but 
If you see before the day of delivery, if you're seeing abnormal discharge or maybe signs of illness in a dog, won't eat, won't drink, lethargic, that type of thing, that would be a reason to take them in. If the temperature has dropped um, and you're already beyond the 65 days and that temperature has dropped and it's been more than 48 hours, that might be a reason to have the dog checked out. If you see a pet that's actively pushing for more than 30 minutes and they haven't produced a puppy, you need to call the vet or get right to an emergency clinic. Now, if they have off and on signs of labor, then that's not quite as critical. But if that's happening for more than two hours, another good reason to call the vet. More than four hours between puppies, if you know for sure that there are more to come. Now, sometimes there can be big lapses there, but certainly if the dog is showing any indication that she's in discomfort and hasn't produced a puppy within four hours, then I would call the vet. Also, if there's a birth sac visible, but it's not continued to advance, so the puppy's not coming out, that would definitely be an emergency. So after the birth, uh, any signs of illness in that first 24, 48 hour period, or even up to a week, puppies can fade very quickly. So if you notice that one isn't nursing, um, they're very susceptible to hypothermia, which is being too cold, and to hypoglycemia. So that is a definite emergency. Need to see a vet ASAP if you see any signs like that in a puppy. Um, with the, the bitch or the dog that has delivered, then a lack of appetite, depression, vomiting, diarrhea, um, swollen or painful mammary glands, you know, they can get mastitis, or any kind of a discharge that's lasting more than two weeks, or if you notice that that discharge is off color, like if it's yellow or green. A lot of things that could be covered in this topic, so uh, we'll get back to you with more information.